For the first time ever in the history of our land, Australia may soon decide. To change the meaning of marriage. Redefining marriage will dramatically impact our society. This is not a simple decision, even though some people think it is. If passed, this law would radically change how we see marriage, which is the bedrock institution of our society. No decision previously made has been more important to our society than this one. I came out as gay in my late teens. I dived headfirst into the gay community. I became an activist, and if anybody dared to challenge homosexuality, I called them a homophobe or a bigot. I desired a recognised union with my long-term boyfriend. I saw it as my right to be married, especially as we were so committed to one another and were monogamous, something rare among practising homosexuals. Years later, after an amazing life journey, I married an Aussie lady and became a dad. On deep reflection, I and many others on a similar path have learned that at its core, a committed, eroticised same-sex relationship doesn't have the same components as a marriage, because it can't. It's wholly different. I know what it's like to live both sides of the marriage debate. It's cruel to fool each other that heterosexual and homosexual relationships are equal and the same. They're not. To embrace this lie sows further injustice and ultimately deceives same-sex attracted people. It's not judging people who are same-sex attracted when we uphold marriage. Real love sometimes says no and always for a greater yes. It's okay to say no. Some try to tell us that legally redefining marriage to include same-sex unions will barely change the landscape of our society. After all, homosexual relationships are already present among us. But why have most nations not redefined marriage? And why would Australia rush into something so radical without examining all the consequences? We would be foolish to pretend that what happens in private doesn't eventually have a profound effect on what happens publicly, because it certainly does. Real marriage between a man and a woman is about the common good of our society, both now and far into the future, and especially for children. We shouldn't mislead people who are same-sex attracted. Australia, please don't sell something as marriage, when in reality, it isn't. Together, we can open the conversation with that hurtful name calling. Together, let's explore what marriage is really about. Together, let's see how marriage, one man, one woman, is good for our country. <laughs>